Congrats, you've leveled up from a helper to actually driving the moving truck. This video will prepare you for some of the fundamentals that you need to know in order to operate the 24 foot box truck safely. Safe driving starts even before you get behind the wheel. You should always inspect your vehicle before you hit the road. Start off with a quick pre-trip inspection. Walk around the truck and check the tires for flats or low pressure. Visually inspect the body for any pre-existing damage. Inspect the ground for any oil or fluid leaks. Open up your mirrors before entering the cab. You also need to be aware of where all the important fluids are located, such as the gas tank, DEF reservoir, and washer fluid reservoir. The gas tank is always located on the driver's side and exclusively only takes diesel fuel. The DEF might be on either side depending on the year of the truck and the washer fluid is always located behind the front bumper on the passenger side. We'll get into the different gauges once we step inside the cab. Once in the cab, check all six of your mirrors and adjust accordingly. When ready, turn the key once to the right. Do not start the truck. However, allow the truck to cycle through its own diagnosis system. Now you can bleed the brakes to remove any moisture from the lines. The air tanks aren't just for your brakes. They control your parking brake, seat height, dumping the truck, and your air horn as well. Allow the air to be released until you reach zero PSI. You can now turn the ignition and start warming up the engine. The air tanks are now refilling. When the beeping stops, you can now release the parking brake and pull out slowly. In a future video, we'll discuss how to stock your vehicle with supplies for the day. So now you're driving a 24 foot box truck. The 24 feet is just the length of the box. The length from bumper to bumper is actually 37 feet. So keep that in mind when making turns. When driving the truck, you must always make wide turns. When pulling out from a parked spot, you never want to pull out abruptly. Rather, inch forward slowly and pull out gradually. This way, you'll avoid hitting fire hydrants, signs, poles, etc. When driving in the cities, you need to be aware of your vehicle's height. There are many low bridges, arches, and tree branches that can hit the roof of the truck. To avoid them, sometimes you'll need to take up two lanes. The listed height on the truck is 12 feet 7 inches. The actual height is 12 feet 5 inches. Most low clearances are listed a few inches lower than they actually are. When in doubt, have your number two jump out and guide you through. While we're on the subject of truck height, let's discuss one of the cardinal sins of driving a truck. Truckers use expressways, not parkways. It's the law. Don't blindly follow your GPS. Be aware of signs warning you of low clearance. On most highways, commercial vehicles are prohibited in the left lane. Keep out of the bus lanes unless you're making a right turn. You must obey all traffic rules at all times. Any speeding or moving violations you get will be all yours. Let's discuss backing up the truck. Never back up the truck without a spotter. 
Your number two is not just responsible for helping you back up the truck, but also to help you get through any tight situations, keeping an eye on your passenger side, and communicating with any other vehicles if necessary. Some hand signals that you and your number two can use to communicate when parking the truck. Good to back up. Turn the wheel right, turn the wheel left, straight back, slow down, stop. Distance remaining. What to do in case of an accident or breakdown. Put your hazards on. Ask if everyone is okay. Start taking pictures and recording a video of the incident with the other party walking around. Call your ops manager ASAP. Don't give away any info until speaking with your ops manager. Put your hazards on. Pull out the reflective cones that are under the passenger seat. Call the ops manager. In case of a fire, there's an extinguisher under the driver's seat. Congrats, you've completed your first day as a driver. Now all that's left is parking the truck, making sure it's clean, locking it up, and making sure you shut off the lights that are in the cab. Otherwise, you might risk the battery draining. If you follow all these steps and pay attention to the road, you'll have no problem while driving Big Yellow. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you.